Okay, for those of you interested in adding audio files to Google Forms, um, I found what's probably the easiest way, and I wanted to share it with you. Now, this particular um, lesson is meant for people with Macintosh computers, MacBooks, etc. Um, the only difference, if you don't have one, is that you would have to use a different movie maker. So I'm going to be using iMovie. There are other ones, you know, Vinyl Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere. Uh, there's a couple other ones that would work, you know, for Windows machines or Mac machines if you don't want to use iMovie. For Chromebooks, I'm still researching that. I haven't found a good one yet. But basically, what you have to do is go to make a present, you know, make a presentation. And then just make a sign in your presentation. It's one page. So I have a bitmoji of me. I have some text. It says click to hear the directions. And I drew a box around it just to kind of make it stand out a little bit. So just like when we're doing backgrounds, then once you're done, you go to file, download, as a ping. I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. But after you've got that ping and it's in your downloads folder, Let me see, that's recent downloads folder. That's it right there. So now I'm going to open iMovie. And you see I've already done it, so I'm just going to delete this so I can do it again. And I'm going to go back to that folder again, open the finder, go, and I'm just going to drag it in here and let go. So you're making a movie, but the movie is only going to be one steady static picture. So once we get rid of that, down here, you see a microphone. It's not highlighted right now. When you click it, oh, it was highlighted. Okay, so now when it's clicked and it's red, you see a record sign. So when you're ready to record and make sure that your, your marker is right there at the beginning, you can record. And don't worry if you go past the picture because we'll fix that part later. So... Your, your guy is still there at the beginning. You click, and you start reading what you want. So I'm going to say. All right, these are the directions for making an audio file in iMovie. As you can see, it's going past the picture, but we can fix that when it's done. You can talk as long as you want, really. It doesn't matter. Um, and when you're done, just click Finish. Now. You have your audio going all the way out to here, but everything here would be a black screen. So you see how when you click right there, it turns into arrows pointing left and right. That will let you shrink or expand the length of your picture. So I'm just going to move it out. Oh, went too far. I'm just going to move it out to the end of the picture. Just like that. And I'm going to make sure at the beginning it's okay. I'm going to turn the microphone off because now I want to play the movie and see if it's what I want. All right, these are the directions for making an audio file in iMovie. As you can see, it's going past the picture, but we can fix that when it's done. You can talk as long as you want, really. It doesn't matter. Um, and when you're done, just click. Okay, so you've got your movie ready. Now all you have to do is put it on YouTube. So make sure when you're in YouTube that you've got your account open, your school district account. So if I go back here and I go to YouTube, all right, I'm already in it. This is my school district account. So I'm going back to iMovie and I'm going to click File share that's how you get a movie out of iMovie and you can either share it to a file which will put it on your desktop but it really does work pretty well for smaller files if you share it right to YouTube so what you have to do is when it comes open you give it a title so I would say you know audio file directions again I'm not going to do it because I already got it but you could type audio file Whatever the title is. In the description, I usually put my name and my school just so it identifies me. I'm going to make sure it's unlisted. And categories, education, that doesn't matter too much since your whole file is education. 
but make sure the privacy un is unlisted and click next. All right, so don't unload, upload copyrighted materials. We're okay with that. Publish. And then it's going to do a little spin here. This little circle is going to start getting filled up. And when it's done, it will tell you that it's finished. And like I said, it's a small file, so it'll go pretty fast. Okay, it's done. There will be a, there'll be a little window come up here in a second that says it's done. Uh, I can save it if I want to, so if I want to come back to it and fix it up or make it make it longer, do something, but I'm not going to bother saving it because I've, I've done what I wanted with it. It can go away now. So if you go back, if you quit iMovie, and you go back to YouTube, you can click on your videos, and here's, see I have two of them now because I already made one. You can click on it to start playing it. All right, these are the directions for make, you don't have to listen to it again. Highlight the URL, make a copy, and then go back to your Google form. I have that open already. Let me close it so you can see. So go back to the Google form, go insert video, and paste in that URL, and there it is. So you select it. You can type your directions up here so that they can read it. So, you know, whatever you're going to type, if you want to type word for word what it says in the video file, there you go. And you can click on it if you want to make it bigger or in this case maybe smaller since it's just an audio file. You don't really need to have it too much. And then you're done pretty much. So you check it in the preview and you can see directions, movie, and you click on it. All right, these are the directions for making an audio file in iMovie. As you can see, it's going past the... So that's the easiest way to make one. You can't insert just audio in Google Forms, unfortunately. So the best thing you can do is insert a video static picture, you know, just one plain picture all the way through, and add a voiceover to it. All right, I hope that helped. Talk to you later.